Ladies, gentlemen, welcome back to another week in GTA Online. Uh, this week, your podium vehicle is the Kenjo SJ and the prize right is the 190Z. If you want to win the 190Z, all you have to do is place top five in either street or pursuit races two days in a row. It's another easy challenge for those going for the career challenges or just simply looking for a very easy free vehicle. In addition to that, more community challenges. As the community, we should be stealing a hundred billion dollars from Act three of the doomsday heist if we manage to complete that then we will be getting a new livery for the centorno which might give some hints towards the fact that this may actually be getting some hsw upgrades which would be really sweet or maybe even some additional love because it is one of the iconic vehicles in the game and maybe giving that hsw would be rather interesting also, as a reminder, still you have to go and drink your absolute nuts off when it comes to the Sprunk and E. Cola before November 29th for the Sprunk X E. Cola bodysuit and the livery for the Raju. And finally, Peyote plants are also making their return in free mode, especially useful for those who are trying to rank up. 5,000 RP per picked up peyote plant and if you spawn in a new session you'll have them respawn so very good way of ranking up. Speaking of things that are good for ranking up and also making money, triple cash NRP this week on the new community jobs which I mean let's be honest if there is a doomsday thing going on who's gonna play those but still if you want to definitely check them out for some triple cash NRP but obviously the big ticket item for this week is the doomsday scenario finale and the prep missions paying out double cash and RP. Act 3 of the Doomsday Heist paying out double cash NRP, which will mean some very serious and very good money. Completing the Act 3 finale will grant you a cool four and a half million dollars. Obviously, you're gonna have to split that between either two, three, or four players, but if you manage to do this with two players, you'll be making a lot of money very quickly. And I'd even argue that if with a competent team, you should be paying out better than a casino or a Kaiperico heist. There also may or may not be a trick of how you can skip out on all the uh, prep and uh, setup missions, but don't uh, tell anyone I told you that. In terms of discounts this week, there is 40% off the Amaris and the Clique Wagon, 50% off the Centorno, ETR1, Revolter, Hermes, the facility properties, upgrades and modifications, and also apartments. Out of those, I would argue that getting a facility if you don't have one yet is a very worthwhile purchase, primarily because if you never experienced a Doomsday Heist, it is a very worthy heist to play. Definitely a little more difficult to cite though, not for those who are just recently gone into the game, but 50% off the facility is a very steep discount that we see rather rarely, so keep that in mind. Also, in terms of vehicles, the Emirates is a worthwhile pickup, especially for those not on the platforms that have HSW upgrades. And aside from that, maybe the Revolter if you're looking for an interesting vehicle to drive within off-road races. But outside from that, if you're feeling nostalgic, a Centorno is a worthy pickup for the mid-pack of the Superclass, but aside from that, that is pretty much it. And finally, there's also free drinks at the casino, as well as a no setup cost for the original heist, which is rather weird considering the fact that we are doing Doomsday Heist this week and not the original heist, but maybe Rockstar is hinting at the fact that next week we're getting perhaps some double cash and RP on the original heist, which would be sweet because I would love to actually make some good progress on those career challenges. As for removed vehicles this week, at Luxury Alders, you can find the ETR-1 and the Revolter, and at the Los Santos Carmi Test Rides, you can find the Hermes and the Z-Type. Again, if you're looking for something fun to race in off-road races, then the Revolter will be a pretty decent pick. But aside from that, there isn't really a whole lot to go out of your way to spend money on. With that said, that's it for this one. Thank you so very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and become a member like Chloe, GTA Plus, and Notorious GM. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.